Hi, it's Ann, and welcome back to my 30 days of Tycho skills. Today is day 10, and I'm talking about rests. Before I start, though, I'd like to thank everybody who has made a donation so far. I truly do appreciate it, and uh, yeah, hopefully you find something uh, useful in this video series. So after today, I'll be one third of the way through, and plenty of other, plenty of time for people to make a contribution if you're able to, or send me any questions you have, and uh, let me know if you have any requests, and I'll try to cover them if I can. Okay, so rests. Uh, in Tycho, especially in beginning Tycho or introductory Tycho, people always talk about the different kinds of sounds that we have, such as don, ka, and then su for rest, su. Um, so that's great for very simple rhythms like don, don, su, don, don. No problem for something simple like that, but as we get more involved with making different kinds of music and maybe playing more complex rhythms than that, I think just saying su for rest is not quite sufficient. Um, so I have a whole uh, system of vocalizing rests that uh, part of it comes from Edobayashi, which I will demonstrate in a minute. Um, part of it is just things that I do personally to try to space, um, make those spaces between notes as accurate as possible so the notes are in the right spot. Um, so just to start, here's an example of a rhythm that uh, we'll be working with here today. So here's the beat. One, two, three, four. Okay, did you get that? <laughs> uh, it's su don su don don do su don. Okay, this is the this is the pulse. So if I play the pulse here on the on the harder dark side, um, this is the pulse, and this would be the rhythm. Okay, that's the com that's the composite verse with the pulse and the actual rhythm. So, uh, how would I introduce that? Maybe I would say su don su don don sto su don su don su don. If we listen to those first two, we're saying su on the on the same uh, using the same syllable, but hopefully you can hear that that rest is different length. Su don and then su don. Okay, so it, it's common that if you just say s, even though you know that they're different lengths, it might not be quite as accurate. So you might be kind of getting close, but not super accurate if you just say s don s don s don s don s don s don. Might not quite be there. So what is a way to try to improve that uh, accuracy of that rhythm? I think filling in more, and this comes comes with um, a lot of parallels with Edobayashi. The Edobayashi Kuchishoga system is quite advanced, just like the music, and it has a lot of these Kuchishoga parts beyond su that are, are notes that are not played, but they help us place the notes more accurately because there's a lot of intricate rhythms and syncopated rhythms. So. If I went slowly and introduced it to somebody, maybe I would say su n do n su do n su n do n su do n. So I use this the syllable or the sound n, which I like to use a lot for any time um, any time su doesn't make sense or it's adjacent to the su. It's quite difficult to say su 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 su. But if you combine it with a different sound, that's easier to say su n do n. Okay. So combining s and n um, allows you to start to fill in a little bit more uh, spaces so that we're able to keep that subdivision as consistent as we can. Um, in the, sh the Shimedaiko Edobayashi context, 
that rhythm we might say s ten s te tsuku ten s te tsuku ten s ten s te tsuku ten s te tsuku ten. In the odaiko context, we might say s don s don ga don s don ga don s don s don ga don s don ga don. So the the n、mm、is in there slightly different from how I was using it earlier, but The n is in there and also ga is in there. In the Shime Daiko version, tsuku, ste tsuku.、Um, also, instead of saying ten every time, sometimes、uh, su ten su te tsuku. If that snare hit, su ten su te tsuku,、um, has to be followed by, by other subdivisions that we're trying to say to help our spacing be more accurate. Then instead of saying su ten su ten suku, which would be too hard to say, it's too long, we just cut the n off and say te. Su ten su te tsuku ten su te tsuku ten. Okay? So those are just a couple of examples of how you would see it in Edobayashi. It's a traditional form, and I think it's just over the years, over the decades, over the centuries,、um, the developers have figured out that, oh yeah, If we add those into the Kuchishoga, there's a better chance that we'll be playing together、uh, more easily, especially when the students are learning.、Um, in a more Western drumming context,、uh, I might introduce it just like saying one ienda, two ienda, more common system in, in Western percussion、uh, or just Western music in general. One knee and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So, of course, that works if you know that system and of counting. If that's comfortable for you, then that's a great way to, to do it as well. But I think、uh, that's one way. The very first way I, where I just said su ten 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 ten. Super detailed. With the Western one ienda and extremely not detailed, kind of too simple、um, in, the, in the other way. And somewhere in between, we have different shades of, of、uh, what might be useful for our, for our purposes. So,、uh, just as an example, here I have the super metronome app at 70 BPM ready to go. And、uh, this would be another way to try to use your voice. And this、uh, external source of pulse and the subdivision feel, which is the 16th note feel. And then I'll try to, to、uh, play along and see if I can get that as accurate as I can. Su ten, su te tsuku ten, su te tsuku ten. Su ten, su te tsuku ten, su te tsuku ten. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Su don, su don, ga don, su don, ga don, su don, su don, ga don, su don, ga don. Okay, and then I take away my, my vocalizations. I'm still doing it in my head silently, but if I take it away, it can test me to see am I still as solid without having the loud vocalizations.、Um, And go back and forth between maybe vocalizing and then doing it silently. Most likely, if you do this for a while and you're vocalizing, it's going to sound better and better as you practice it. And then you take that away, it feels a little bit like those training wheels came off. It feels a little bit like somebody who's holding your hand just let go and now you're just trying to walk on your own.、Um, it just feels a little bit less secure after having said those subdivisions for a while. And it tells you right there that、uh, how valuable it is to sing these subdivisions. And doing them out loud for a long time will help you get accustomed to playing accurate subdivisions, making your coordination with your sticks and your voice against the metronome or some other beat source,、um, getting that accurate and consistent. And then once you take it away, hopefully you're still able to, to keep that. So I guess the, the main point of this.、Uh, Discussion about rests is that it's not quite as simple as just saying su.、Um, we could say su in different ways as well. That's another way, but we can also add some other syllables
um, and take inspiration from places like Edobayashi or Western kind of music um, pedagogy. Lots of different ways to do that. But what we're trying to do in the end is to try to play the rhythms more accurately so we can be more together with uh, when you're playing with other people, whether it's a unison part or maybe it's against a G pattern or against some other part. Uh, if we can improve our accuracy, then we have more freedom to be expressive instead of worrying about, is this in the right spot? You can kind of get beyond that and start to feel like you're just playing music and it still sounds like it, it belongs, your part belongs in the music. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful and I will see you on the next one.